listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. To follow is today's message by Pastor Randy Snyder. Enjoy and have a glorious day. Now with today's uplifting message, here's Randy. What your children need to learn more than self-confidence is Christ-confidence. And they need to grow up with a confidence in the Lord God Almighty because I have this personal theory, I can't prove it to you, but the more you trust in the Lord, the more self-confidence you will have. Why? Because the confidence won't be in yourself, it'll be in Him. Did you know the Bible says this, He who trusts in himself is a fool? Anytime you see the word fool in the Bible, you tend to think of of somebody with a mental deficiency. Get that out of your mind as a biblical term. The word fool in the Bible never means somebody with a, a low IQ or a mental deficiency. It's a character deficiency. It's a character flaw. The man who trusts in himself has a character problem. The woman who trusts in herself has a character flaw. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. Let me tell you a powerful story about that, about putting confidence in the Lord in a dramatic way. Mike Bro used to be the senior minister at Southland Christian Church in Lexington, Kentucky. I heard him tell this, that when his daughter turned 18 years of age and graduated from high school, they said, you know, where are you going to college? She said, I'm not for the first year. I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go in the military. I just want to take one year, and I want to go to Haiti. And I want to work with the missionaries that our church supports in Haiti for one year. I just want to get one year of my life. So Mike Bro said he and his wife were not real excited about sending their daughter, who just graduated from high school, and just sent her to Haiti for a year, not knowing what would happen to her. Well, what happened when she got there is that they needed her at this particular mission to assist the woman who was the midwife in the mission. She was the one who delivered babies. And Mike's daughter got to assist with eight births right right away, just helped deliver eight babies. Well, you know what happened. The night came when somebody came to the mission and said, we need help. There's a woman in labor ready to have a baby. We want the midwife to come, and the midwife wasn't there. And so they pointed to Mike Bro's daughter, 18 years old, who's just assisted with eight births, said, you're going to deliver this baby. So this young lady just literally had no idea what to do in terms of other than what she observed, watching eight deliveries and kind of helping off to the side, was now in charge of delivering a baby. When she came into the hut, the woman was lying flat on the ground in labor, and there was a voodoo priestess there who was doing incantations over the mother and rubbing the stomach of the mother and calling down some kind of voodoo blessings or incantations over the mother and the baby. And Mike Bro's daughter is trying to deliver this baby, so she gets right in the middle of things, but she was so disconcerted by the voodoo incantations, she started singing at the top of her lungs while she's working. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. And Mike Bro said the voodoo priestess got so disconcerted by that, she stormed out of the hut in anger and left. And Mike Bro's daughter was able to deliver the baby because she sang, Our God is an awesome God. May I tell you what that's an example of? Not self-confidence, Christ-confidence. That's a dramatic example of someone who said, I'm not going to put the confidence in my flesh, in my strength, in my ability. I'm going to put my confidence in our God that is a mighty God, an awesome God. You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio.